Hey guys, what's happening? So I'm back with another Mac video and this time around it's an app review. So I found this really cool app on the Mac App Store, it's called PicFrame and it's the perfect app for all of you who like making picture frames uh, or you just want to say customize your YouTube thumbnail. I made thumbnails for my friends channel like these ones. That way you can add in more pictorial information so your audience exactly knows what to expect. So the app itself is quite simple. You have these slots within the frame where you can add images. You can either add them by clicking on set photo or you can just drag and drop them whichever way you prefer. And there are lots and lots of frames to choose from. There are almost like 72 of them so you are sure that there's a frame for every need and purpose. Also there are a couple of aspect ratios to choose from. I'll go with 16 as to 9 because I may want to set this as a wallpaper. Then I'll just drag and drop a few random images. And once you've done that, you can just pull up the slider to zoom into the picture or zoom out. You can hold the picture and move it around and it's still going to be in the frame. So that's really awesome. You can then play around with the corners. Right now the corners are sharp right angles. So if you want them to be a little round, you can just pull up that slider and it's going to make it a little rounder and give it that nice vignette kind of a look. You can even change the thickness of the frame. You can make it thinner or you can make it fat, whichever way you prefer. And you can change the color of the frame. Right now it's white, so I may just make it a little yellow or something. You also have the option of using a pattern for the frame. They have these uh, stripes, you have ribbons. I would have liked if there was an option to actually set a custom pattern, but I'm not really complaining. That's a lot for $1 already. Now the best part is you can try out all those different frames while these pictures are still there. So if there is an extra slot you can fill it up but these pictures that you've inserted will still be around. That's really good. Now there are a lot of apps for Android and iOS which do this but nothing gets this close in terms of functionality. Then you can just set the resolution that you want to save the image in. I'm going to save it at a higher resolution and there you go. So I hope this video was useful, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also hit that subscribe button on the top or below this video to stay updated with all app reviews and tutorials that I upload. I'll see you next time with another video, bye bye.